Hey guys, so you might have noticed I've been on a bit of a matte lip kick lately. I did that video over on my other channel talking about my, um, what was it called, top 10 most comfortable matte lipsticks. I've just kind of made it my mission to get my lips in really good condition. I feel like matte lips always look better when your lips are really healthy. You've exfoliated and you've sloughed off all the dead skin and then you've got that really perfect looking matte lip. So as I was sharing my favorites in that video, um, y'all decided to feed the beast and share your favorite ones too that I hadn't yet tried. And one big suggestion that several of you had mentioned are the Sonia Kashuk Velvety Matte Lip Crayons. They're not like as jumbo as some of the other like jumbo pencils out there. Like this is one of the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. You can see how it's quite a bit larger. But these twist up, these are something that you're going to need to sharpen. And something I didn't really understand about this line is that everything is a nude. Like the shades I have are rosy nude. I mean, I would never look at this lip and think, oh, that's a very nude color, you know? Um, but it's rosy nude, and then I have candy nude, which is this uh, pretty classic pink shade. Put the cap on and like press it down. Sometimes it won't want to go or it'll, it'll like bop back up like that. So when you press the cap on, press it down and give it a little bit of a twist and then it's really on. It's something with the air that's getting caught under the cap, I think, trying to push it back off. Candy Nude 02 is, in my eyes, a very, very classic pink shade. But very pretty shade there. And then Rosy Nude, um, great soft red color. I feel like I was just describing an Essence lipstick on this channel as a shade that is a soft softer version of red. You think of like a retro pinup girl type color, almost like my lips have just been stained. This nice, you know, rosy look. I really think these are both beautiful. Um, rosy Nude is probably the one that I like the best. It's like the scent is just a little bit tart, but not in a real sweet way. I don't find it especially pleasant, but I only notice it when I like uncap and start to apply. And once it's on my lips, I mean, they don't give off a taste to me. As far as the texture of these, the way they go on, the overall finish, they are a true, true matte lip product. I mean, there is zero shine in here and yet they're very lightweight. When I apply them, I don't feel like they're dragging and pulling across my lips. There are some matte lip colors that do have that truly matte finish but you almost feel like your lips are wearing some kind of a thick mask, you know? Um, it's just not a comfortable thing. These feel really lightweight. I feel like, you know, my lips have full flexibility. I can talk, I can move them around. I don't find these to be uncomfortable, but once you've got them on your lips for just a little while, like, I don't know, five minutes after they've been freshly applied, it's not like these are giving your lips any added moisture. Just to like demonstrate, this shade is so dry on my lips right now, like it won't even transfer onto my fingers. And that's great from a long wear perspective and these do wear a really long time. I can go through meals. I can feel like it's still looking the same. But it is a very dry feeling on your lips. A lightweight feel, like I said, but still pretty dry compared to a lot of the matte lipsticks that I remembered mentioning in that video. Like we have the Color Burst Matte Balms from Revlon, um, the Rimmel Kate Moss matte lipsticks. Those seem to, for me, they, they seem to hold just a bit more moisture than these do. I still really like these because, again, they feel like they glide on easily. You know, the application is great. But I feel like I have to put a couple disclaimers out there for people. One, if your lips are not in good condition, if they're dry, flaky, peely, these will not look good on I there. I mean, they can exaggerate any dryness you might have going on. And number two, if you just don't like, like, pressing your lips together and feeling like, okay, Things feel pretty dry there. If that's uncomfortable to you, if you really like a slick feeling on your lips, these may not be something you really care to explore. I find as the day goes on when I'm wearing one of these, I really tend to want to grab for a little bit of lip balm at some point and kind of just lightly dab it over the lips, not to really change the finish or anything. And I don't feel like the color needs that much staying power help, but it's just I want a little more comfort happening there. I think the cost on these, which is between like 7 and $8, is a pretty darn good value value because it's not the kind of product that you're having to constantly reapply throughout the day. I don't think you're necessarily going to use these up really quickly. I think the true matte lip product lovers out there are going to love and appreciate these because there really is absolutely no hint of shine with these. As I've said throughout the video, whether or not somebody likes these I think depends a lot on their personal lip product preferences, but I really enjoy them and thank you so much to everyone who recommended them to Thanks me. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.